Okay, so we have here the voltage of the generator. The voltage of the generator is, uh, uh, is shared by both elements here, by the voltage of the diode and by the voltage of the capacitor. So, let's say this again. The voltage of the generator equals the voltage of the diode plus the voltage of the capacitor. What interests us is the voltage of the capacitor. So, we change this to show the voltage of the capacitor equals the voltage of the generator minus the voltage of the diode. Okay. Um, as you know, the peak voltage is um, uh, calculated by this formula. So you can actually put this value into here to get the maximum um, the maximum voltage that this capacitor can be loaded to by a sine wave alternating uh, current of an effective voltage. That means the voltage of the capacitor equals this the, vo the, the effective voltage that a meter will show you multiplied by the root of 2 this goes here and now minus the voltage of the diode so let's let's put some some value into it. Let's say for example, oh this is a 2, let's say for example we have a generated voltage of 10 volts. Then the voltage that, the voltage that this capacitor is loaded up to is 10 volts multiplied by the root of 2 minus the voltage of the diode. And now I have a question to you. We want to have the maximum voltage, of course, at the capacitor. So which diode do we take? Do we take a silicon one, a germanium one or a Schottky diode? Okay, the answer is we of course take a Schottky diode because it has the smallest voltage as, as a loss. So we put in here the voltage of a Schottky diode is 0 0.2 volt. Now when you uh, want to build this voltage doubler and you go and buy this part then um, be sure that you are buying Schottky diodes and not one of these two here. Okay, so what will this be? This equals 13.94 volts. Okay, there will probably be questions how to uh, calculate the root of 2 on a calculator that has no root. I have uh, experienced the problem myself and the answer is most calculators have a power off function. This xy fun uh, key. So 2 by the power of 0 0.5 is the same 
as the root of 2. Um, by this way, you can get the root of 2 without using a root function, by, but a power of function. Okay. Now, we have the voltage here. You can see it's already a, a gain of voltage because we put 10 volts in here and we get out 13.94 volts. That is more than we put into it. Not really, because we have uh, the effective value is this one and the peak voltage is this one. This is the peak voltage. So, um, from the peak voltage we subtract the loss, the voltage loss of the diode and we get this value. Okay, now this circuit is not complete yes, yet because we want to uh, double it. We want to use the second half of the sine wave too. So how can we achieve this? Well, we have blocked one half sine wave by the diode. So, when we use another diode and we switch the uh, polarity of the second diode to the other side, then we can use this other half sine wave. Okay, so let's do that. This time we go from here. Let's say, let's say, let's say to here. And here we reverse the polarity of this diode. So this time I will draw it like this. Okay. And we go here into a second capacitor. So that's the Dallin circuit. As you can see, the second part that I have just drawn is the co uh, completely the same thing as the first part, just with a changed polarity of the diode. So um, now one half sine wave is charging one capacitor and the second half sine wave is charging the second capacitor. When everything uh, is identical, then we have at the second capacitor the same voltage. This means... Oh, I need some place here. And maybe... maybe here. And now we add those voltages of those two capacitors. So we catch the voltage here and here. Let's give it a name. Let's call it voltage out. Just the name. Okay, so the voltage out is completely the, the same as the voltage of one capacitor but this time we have a second one so the voltage two times so the voltage out voltage is two times the voltage of the generator minus the voltage of the diode So, uh, we have the voltage of one capacitor and the double would be 27.88 volts. And, and that's even more than a voltage doubling. Um, yeah, that's all the theory that I wanted to tell you. Just one thing. You can see that when we start to charge the capacitor, the voltage raises and it raises just a little bit. 
over this whole period here, it can be loaded. So the voltage raises quickly. But when we raise in voltage and raise and raise and raise, then you can see the distance of here getting smaller, 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 smaller and very small. So that's the character of such a voltage doubler in the low uh, low voltage area it raises quickly but then when it reaches the maximum when it when it's near the maximum then for example here here it can load all the time but here when it's the when the um, voltage reached this then only this time is effective in in loading so that's what the character of this um, of this circuit is. It raises very click, quickly in voltage on low voltages, but slower and slower on high voltages. But finally, when you do not dis discharge the capacitors, it will reach this peak, of course, subtracted by the losses of this and this diode. So the voltage that you get here is this voltage plus this voltage minus this loss of this diode mean and this diode. So now you know. There is one thing that I would like to shed some light on because it's important otherwise you might burn your diode. So when the generator generates its current which is sent through the diode to the capacitor. You already know that the generator generates a sine wave. And the peak of the sine wave is calculated with the help of the root of 2. Let's say when the generator generates 10 volts, by the root of 2 gives you 14.14 volt. The voltage is reduced by 0.2 volts at the diode. So at the capacitor we have a value that is somewhat smaller. So, 13.94 uh, volts. Now one thing happens. The voltage, voltage changes and a little bit later we arrive here. And then the voltage that is stored here adds to the voltage that comes out from here. And together they give what? Together they give 28.08 volts, which are now, because they add together, at the diode. So the diode has to be quite strong to, um, to survive this because we have only 10 volt going for out from the generator but now we have at the um, diode 28.08 volts. So this is important when you go out and you want to buy a diode make sure that the voltage is high enough and not only the voltage but also the current and uh, if you expect to have big currents because you have a big generator then make sure that you buy a diode with the possibility to attach a heatsink so that it will not burn itself out. Yo, that's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, this is the ther therapy. Um, then the next video I will show you how you can actually build this voltage doubler with very primitive ways so that everyone can do this. Okay, have fun. Bye.